Hello my crafty friends, it's Krista here from Second Chance Creation. This is a VR for um, Gypsy Girl Crafts, um, who we know as Pamela, and um, Pamela's having her, a, a first challenge. Very exciting. Congratulations Pamela. Now Pamela is an amazing crafter. If you do not know Pamela's work, um, do yourself a favour, hop over to her channel, subscribe and check out her videos. Very inspirational. This lady has a lot of amazing talents and, um, and a beautiful person at heart as well. So I'm going to leave the link below. Um, I do believe the challenge goes until um, mid-February. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but this my entry is going to get posted off on Monday. So I hope it gets there in time, Pamela. I'm sorry it's got a bit late. Um, but there's so many things happening here at my end. So without further ado, I'll just show you what, I've, um, what I'm going to send you. And look at these little rascals, they're scheming up, they're scheming something, something. I'll just put them aside here and they can scheme away. Okay, now I've made this IC card a long time ago, Pamela, and um, I made a whole batch of them. And of course, when I do send IC card, even though it's my style, like it's my style as well, um, I do like to send them to a person that appreciates a um, particular card, whether it'll be mixed media, shabby chic, or sort of like, you know, very colourful. And um, as, you, as your name represents, Gypsy Girl, um, you love all your colours. So I've made, so I've got this um, IC card, was the only one that was left, so it saved me a bit of time. So on the back I've made a pocket, and I'll have my card, I haven't put my details on there yet, um, so, and that'll just slot in there. It's on cardstock, a cereal box actually, and then I covered it with some beautiful deep purple organza. Had a piece of um, lace fabric that I'd covered it with. It's like a really deep grey, sort of vintage looking. And of course I just um, finished it off with a bit of trim. We're all familiar with that particular trim. It's very popular. And on the front, very colourful. Um, again, this is part of a dress that I got hold of about middle of last year as I'm collecting a lot of gypsy stuff for my wagon and my journals. But it looks like it's going to be the journals first. So I experimented and um, I've just chopped it up in pieces so that I could frame the card. And here you'll see um, some of the deep purple coming through and a little bit of that lace. Um, this part here is of a necklace. Um, the blue doily trim here and the blue tulle, I actually coloured this with food colouring a um, long time ago. I think it would have been maybe even middle of last year. This is a piece of applique of a dress. A little bit of um, narrow frilly lace and it has um, a little bit of brown ribbon threaded through it and I sewed on a little vintage button just there. The Im image I actually got from Pinterest, um, I was able, ha um, fortunate enough to print that out before, yeah, and again I had this for a long time so since then we've got a new printer. And I had some um, like a chiffon, yeah you could say like a chiffon scarf, multicolored um, like a summer scarf and I've ripped it in strips and just wound it around it just to sort of frame it around the photo and finish it off with a purple little rose. Um, this here is actually a button um, of a um, very old dress that I got hold of in the thrift store. Um, little doily centre that I also uh, coffee coloured, coffee dyed and pop that on though it gives it a little bit of dimension. So. Um, I hope you like it. Um, like I said, it's something that, you know, I'd like to send to someone that appreciates all the colours. And of course, you've asked for flowers, three, three flowers. Um, I've made, a, you know, an extra couple in just in various um, colours and themes that hopefully you'll like. This one is like a blue. This one measures about three inches across, but it's quite dimensional. Um, finished off with a doily. Um, and another bit of doily here. I had some pretty little um, lace trim there and I've rolled my own roses just there. This one shabby again it's in pale pink 
and um, you're looking at a little applique from a um, dress this is actually you might recognize this fabric I think they call it seasucker fabric um, a little uh, doily and a little bit of curtain fabric and again I've rolled my rows just there and I've just frayed it the, the fabric actually frays just to make it a little bit shabby I mean you can very easily still color this if you wanted to put some other color on there this one is a bit out there, a bit of bling. Um, I've put this yellow stone in there because the fabric here has got some of that hint of that same colour. It's actually a very soft satiny curtain fabric. And um, I finished it off with a bit of um, soft felt just there. So yeah, so this is probably the smallest one and it measures about two and a half inches. So I hope that one is okay. And then I've got this one, love this one, love the colour, love the dusty pink on it. Um, again, you know, I finished off with this pink applique, a little uh, motif here, a little lace motif. And this is actually of a summer scarf, but I love, just love the colours. Um, by the time I tore it off and cut it up and ruffled it, it came out really, really pretty. I'm sorry. And um, again, some curtain fabric and a little piece of a doily centre and this is coffee um, coloured as well and another ribbon rose that I made. Lucky last, uh, this was a earring and um, so I took the back off. Uh, this is an organza um, trim and I've just ruffled that around and this is actually of a scarf also as you can see this little rolled edge just there and I use that to make it the outside of the flower very soft and I just finish it off with a little doily just there so yeah so I hope you like my selection of flowers and um, the IC card so I'm gonna like I said everyone I'm gonna leave um, Pamela's link below in the description box please go over all the details of the channels will challenge will be there um, it's no good me um, going through it all because you know I might get get some information wrong so you're best to go over there check it out and join in it's a lot of fun and um, this book that um, Pamela is making to put all these cards in is just unbelievable so do yourself a favor if you haven't heard from Pamela go over and subscribe you know what you got to do in the meantime happy crafting bye for now thanks for watching